there's a particular tumor called Pankos tumor or superior sulcus tumor. Pankos is, was the name of a radiologist from Philadelphia in 1932. And this is way before we had CAT scans. So this is on a plain chest x-ray, described individuals who showed up with enormous pain around their shoulder and down their arm, sometimes some changes in their facial expression, who had on x-ray a tumor at the top of their lung. And basically what, what it means is a tumor that's not only involving the lung, but involving the structures at the top of the lung, which happen to be the ribs and the nerves that come out of your neck and go down into your arm and also some vessels that come out. And so it's a very busy area up here, very tight area. There's not a lot of room for growth there. And so that's what these pancos tumors or superior sulcus tumors are. They are tumors, regular lung cancers, but it's their location that defines that we call them that way and the fact that they are invading these structures. Back in the uh, 50s, those tumors were considered 100% fatal. There was no survivor anywhere with, that, with those tumors. And then there was a first survivor who was treated with radiation alone, survivor at three years. But, and then um, in the late 50s, accidentally, there is a patient who had received some radiation therapy and had a beautiful response, and that his pain all went away. And he'd heard of the surgeon, some surgeons in uh, Dallas, thoracic surgeons, who were quite good and aggressive, and he went to visit them and asked if he could have surgery. And they said, sure. And the time that had elapsed by the time he had finished his radiation to the time he showed up in Dallas was three weeks. So it was radiation to 30 gray, three weeks traveling and getting there, and then he had surgery. And the surgery went much better than anticipated. The surgeon's comments were this operation was easier than what we've seen in the past. And what they found is that the periphery of tumor was dead, but at the middle of the tumor was still some cancer, and patients did well and recovered and, and lived. And as a result of that, they adopted this protocol, which we, we called the Paulson protocol, Paulson being one of the surgeons in the team. And that's how we treated Pankos tumors for years. 3,000 gray, three weeks, radiation uh, surgery. Until in um, the 90s, mid-90s, uh, the South, Southwestern Oncology Group ran a trial where in addition to the radiation therapy, we added some chemotherapy at the same time, so so-called concurrent chemo and radiation therapy. And then we took these patients to surgery afterwards. And those, the results of that, op, of that trial were so far better than anything else that we had seen before that that has become the standard of care for the treatment of the Pankos tumors. Chemo radiation therapy, the dose of radiation being around 45 gray, and then recovery and then resection. There's also a study that was done in Japan about a few years later, very similar concept, different chemotherapy drugs, but very similar concept of concurrent chemo radiation therapy, recovery, and resection that showed identical results to those of the Southwestern Oncology Group. And those two trials have established what we consider to be the standard of care for the resection of these Pankos tumors. Now, the operation is tricky because you just don't remove lung. Remember, the, those tumors are invading into the rib cage and the nerve structures at the inlet. So these operations can be very tricky um, and um, may either involve a very high incision in the back if the tumor is dominantly in the back, or if the tumor is more in the front where the vessels are running, the incisions will be in the front. And again, those operations are, we do very few of those in centers of excellence and probably should be done by surgeons who have that experience. So basically, we went before 1954 to a disease that was considered 100% fatal. Now in 2015, it's, it's for individuals that we commit to this chemo radiation therapy and resection, we're looking at about a 60% four to five year survival. That's a major shift, a major improvement in a relatively short period of time. 
the other improvement is the historically we considered individuals where their tumor was invading the spinal, the spine, sorry, the vertebral column, not the spinal cord, but the bones in which the cord is, uh, is running. That used to be considered non-surgical. Uh, and today, because of advances in spinal surgery, we can combine these operations where we have a tumor that's invading into the spine. That's one, going back to the descriptors, that's a considered a T4 because historically it was considered non-surgical. But today we can remove the spine and the lung all together and the reconstruction of the, uh, of the spinal column by the spine surgeon is quite uh, amazing how they do things, and we can achieve very, very good results. Now, some of those are also pancos, if they are the spine high up in the chest, but that concept applies to tumors all along the chest and the spine itself. That's another major improvement in that arena. Uh, and we're lucky here to have the spinal expertise where we can offer that to our patients.